Good evening, folks. Uh, before we get started, I'd like to thank everyone for showing up this evening. I'd like to thank the sponsors and also the organisers, and definitely the other participants uh, who showed up tonight. My name's Anthony Pippen, and I'm here tonight to introduce you to Walkabout Power. Our goal at Walkabout Power is to be able to get you up and out from behind your desk, out of your old office environment, and into your real ecosystem where your life actually happens. The problem that, the problem that we've identified actually doing that is the fact that you have one hand constantly tied to your actual device, leaving only one hand to use it. So if you have more than one task to actually do, you're going to run into all sorts of problems. It can be unproductive, unsafe, and also lead to a lot of costs, particularly if you happen to do an extra task, you put your tablet down, it may slide off, you could be lost or stolen, and then you're starting to deal with issues such as stolen data, etc. So what we've done at Walkabout Pouch is develop a wearable platform that allows you, allows you to firmly secure any piece of handheld tech device to it, whether it be an iPad, a Surface, or even if you're old school and you want to use a clipboard, you can firmly place it, off, place it on the device, which allows you to actually go hands-free, use both hands to actually operate your device. So we've looked at this, and you know, there's, the tablets are used in plenty of industries now. This is just a list of few of them. So <clears throat> once we've identified the problem and how we we're going to solve it, we went out to look at our competitors. <clears throat> what we noticed out there with our competitors, they were very hard to use, either made up of metal uh, parts, which can be very dangerous, particularly when you're working around other people, or actually in high voltage areas. And also, another competitor that we found out there is the traditional hand strap, which is not truly hands-free, which doesn't offer the same sort of concept as that we're offering. So what we've done is we've come out with three actual Baboo models. What the first one we're calling the Pouch Warrior, that's for the extreme work or the extreme uh, play user out there. Then we have the Pure Pouch that's been developed for the medical industry, scribes, decisions, so forth, and also for your clean manufacturing. And then we have the Pouch Pro, that's what I'm wearing here this evening. Uh, you know, for more of your casual use, your business use. Uh, it's an awesome product for when you're travelling, if you're standing in line for a long time, you can actually get your reports done, what you need to. So with the pouch, we've brought it out in three sizes. The largest pouch we're calling the brew, the middle-sized pouch is the wallaby, and then the tiny pouch over here is what we call the building. So by addressing all the downsides of our competitors, we feel that we've stepped ahead of them, making an ergonomic product like ours, having no metal parts in them to avoid any injury that may happen. And at the moment, we're uh, totally handcrafted here in Albany and designed. So the gains that we've had in the last 12 months is we've established ourselves as an LLC here in New York, We've set up a website where you can actually buy our product from. And also, the opportunity, being a local manufacturer, we've had heaps of time to actually test our prototypes, develop them, and take them through that stage of patenting and trademarking our products. So ideally, we'd like to say that we could get out there and sell one to every single tablet user in the world. Which currently is, uh, which by 2018 they're saying it's about one and a half billion. <coughs> but in reality, what we're going to be doing at this stage is actually focusing on a few specific industries, and that's what we've done by providing the three models within our pouch. So these are just some of the figures that we've looked at for our professional office support workers out there, also the allied health workers, and also the construction <coughs> and engineering. Uh, industry. So just as a figure there uh, that we've uh, dug up from the internet, basically by 2019 they're expecting $20 billion just in the medical industry alone 
to be spent on purchasing handheld devices. So the next step for us is we're trying to transition from a small manufacturer into a large manufacturer so we can get product to scale on this. We're also in the process of looking at alternative materials, uh, also looking at you know, 3D printing, etc. Uh, with our marketing, you know, we're moving more into our social media, but also we want to get out there, attend trade shows, and actually target those uh, actual industry specific. And also, we're looking at some uh, celebrity coverage as well for it. Um, so at the moment, you know, we're, like I said, we're selling online, but we're in the process again of going to moving online, getting involved, uh, selling our product through Amazon, and we'd like to also look at local and traditional distribution as well. And also uh, setting up, uh, getting vendor certification with some local and federal government agencies. So the team is, is myself, I, I actually developed the product. Uh, we have Irene and Jill over there. Uh, they can get, get a help out uh, a bit later on with some questions or some information. But what we're actually looking for tonight is we're looking for customers, people that can see this helpful in their, in their actual work or in their play, whatever they need it for. <coughs> and what we're doing tonight is uh, we have some order forms over there if you get the chance to go over and drop down the information for you. By the end of the night we're going to raffle one off and get one away. And also, if you decide that you want to purchase one later, we'll have the information and then we can actually give you a 30% discount on the product that you want. Um, always look keen for people that uh, can help us take it to the next level. And we're also looking for local manufacturers. We can either do this piecework or we can do it on large scale manufacturing. And that's about it. So, with that, we'd like to invite you all to take a tech on the track with us. Do I have any questions? This is the roux size, this is the largest size, so, and you know, when you're actually purchasing, you've got an option whether to have the Velcro strip up here, or you can have like the side clips here uh, up on the top as well, it makes it easily adjustable. So, depending on sort of what sort of environment you're actually working in. Let's give them a hand. 